whenever I heard sustainability before, I was just like, okay, whatever, like, sure. Yeah, I get it, it's important, but I felt like it was just also like one of those things, you know? A lot of people probably feel that way too because it's just like, it's not directly impacting your everyday life, which is definitely a privilege. And so it's like, on to the next. This is also day two of the climate optimism challenge and I thought it'd be fun if we could just share our sustainability journey whether you don't have one you're interested or you're very much like advanced I kind of got into it when i heard about or when i watched the true cost exposing the fast fashion industry and it really made me realize that this is also not just all about the environment it's also about the people sadly so a lot of people are like oh i mean it's just like the earth nature or whatever but it is never without people involved and that's the thing like this all goes to our daily lives like if you don't have a safe environment to live in if you don't have safe drinking water safe air safe everything you cannot have a healthy life but anyways that got me more into this whole thing i got very sucked into mainstream news and that's terrible i don't watch mainstream news anymore they serve a lot of climate doom they really do because that's what get clicks if it's like the end of the world we're not gonna live and they're coming up with headlines and stuff it's to get people to click and so what gets people to click these very like dramatic headlines and obviously this is a very serious issue but sometimes all they serve is doom and when all you serve is doom it creates a very negative outlook that's when i got to phase three Phase three was just this overall hopelessness. Feeling like no one really cares, you know, and honestly, rightfully so, because there's so much going on in our daily lives, especially in this state of the world with the war and the economy. It's like the last thing you want to think about. The United Nations, IPCC, is like, we have only eight years or something like that left before there's like irreversible damage and just like really serious language when i saw this was from the united nations i was like okay so we're just gonna die like that's it they were saying like we need significant change and i was not seeing this in government policies i was not seeing this in corporations i was not seeing this in the culture that we have of consumption in that period i just genuinely felt very powerless and just felt like very existential because it's like what's the actual point of even trying at all and then i got to phase four which was earlier this year where i just gave up i already made a lot of lifestyle changes to like be more eco-friendly and stuff and my own actions are honestly like pretty meaningless and we need collective action then i realized i was at this whole other end of the spectrum like i started off not caring at all like barely and then I was caring so much that I would feel guilty and just like anxious and powerless to the point where it's so bad as like, it doesn't even matter because we're just gonna like perish. So I'm just gonna live my best life. But in the last weeks, I just realized that's not the way to do it either because that's totally not productive, obviously. I actually heard a podcast or a snippet, a clip from this climate scientist called Bjorn, I think that's the name. He really helped to change my perspective on this. He is actually pretty optimistic about our state of the world. He pierced through the climate doom that we're all so used to getting from the media, which I don't think is healthy at all. You know, his whole thing is that we humans will innovate our way out of this. Maybe we cannot reverse the damage, but we can adapt to what comes of it. And some scientists were talking about how like in the 80s or 90s, like they were already talking about how the world's gonna end by like the 2010s or something like that. And I wasn't born then, so this climate doom concept was new to me, but it's been around for a long time. It really helped to change my whole perspective into one that is much more optimistic and one that I just feel like everyone should adopt if you feel anxious about the situation. I think it's obvious that the individual actions that we do like don't really tip the scale but I still think it's really important that we try where we can. Hopefully through this challenge you get to see actionable things you can do, inspire the people around you, and we just all have more collective action and awareness. So yeah, let me know where you are in your journey, whether you're like me in the beginning, didn't care at all, me crying in the club, or me right now a little bit more optimistic or you're just interested overall. I'm back tomorrow for day three where I'm gonna talk about shopping.